Hi there, this is Unmesh from Pixin Perfect, and today I have two quick tricks for you. And at the end, I'm gonna give you a bonus trick, which I'm probably not sure whether it qualifies as a trick or not, but I'm gonna give it to you. I think it's gonna be useful. So the first trick here is this. For example, I'm gonna be creating a levels adjustment layer, doesn't matter, whatever you create. And let's change the blend mode to something like overlay to increase the contrast. Let's collapse it. But you know, it's too much. So what do we usually do? We decrease the opacity from here. Instead of doing that, you can also use the scrubby sliders. So you can hover over opacity and decrease it from there. But that's not the trick. The trick is this. When you hover over opacity and scrub through it, what you can also do is this. You can hold the Option key on Mac or Alt key on Windows. And then when you scrub, it scrubs slowly. And this is for making the minute adjustments. However, when you hold the shift key, it decreases and increases by value of 10. So you can hold the shift key first, decide which area is gonna look fine for me, I guess this one, and then you can use Option or Alt to make the fine adjustments. Okay, so 61 is fine for me. This is not just limited to opacity. Most of the areas where you have a value or a slider, you can apply this. For example, the flow, the smoothing. Here as well, you can hold the Option key and do it slowly or hold the Shift key and do it real quick. All right. So apart from this, you can also apply on things like curves. So in curves, it applies partially. So for example, you made a point. You can use the arrow keys to get it up and down slowly. And you can hold the shift key to get it up and down real quick with the help of the arrow keys. All right. So once you're satisfied at a certain point, you can release the shift key and then with the help of the arrow keys, move them slowly. Since it's already slow, there is no point in holding down the Alt or Option. All right. Apart from this, let me just show you one more thing. Here we have another example and I have tried to change the color of this. So let's just double click on the Hue Saturation Adjustment Layer Properties. And I'm just going to go to Reds and we can change the color of this to whatever we like. So first we can hold the Shift key and only above the text move it like real fast and choose the color that you like. For example, you like this blue. Now it's time for us to do a little bit of fine tuning. So now you would hold the option key and do it slowly. So which shade of blue do you like? I love this. So I'm going to stop right there and that's it for me. So keep in mind shift and option on a windows shift and alt. Let me give you the third and the bonus tip. And I'm not sure whether that's a tip or not. For example, you were applying a curves adjustment layer. Let me just go ahead and delete that. You were working on a curves and you probably decrease the highlights from the top and maybe increase the shadows and do all that kind of stuff. And you want to have a look at the before and after. Usually what we do is we just make the layer invisible and make it visible again. Instead of doing that, you can do this. Have a look at this eye here on the properties of the curves or any adjustment layer. Just hold it. You look at the before and release it. Look at the after. So I don't know whether that's a tip for you or not, but when I discovered it, it was big for me. I hope this video was helpful. And if this was, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tip, trick or tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Until then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.